I'm going to share my experience when I had to take this career break and when I decided to come back, what did I go through? And in my experience, what could be few things that you all can try uh, when you actually attempt to come back to work? There are several reasons why you have to do a career break. That's personal in nature, so we don't have to get to that. But when you come back, when you decide to come back, right, there are so many things. And um, you would feel like you are alone in this journey. Right. But guess what? You're not really alone. There are, let's look at the statistics, right? In India, the statistics is per India. So there are 36 percentage of working women who have, who have taken a career break once or twice in their lifetime. And then the fact is their career break, they might be taking it like knowingly or unknowingly for short time or long term, but 91 percentage out of them, they want to come back. So this struggle that you're facing is not something that you are going through alone. There are so many who are actually going through this stuff. And like me, there are many who might have faced it like you know, multiple times for one or the other reasons. So after my uh, college graduation, I got campus placed into Atlanta Infotech and I was working and then, you know, like I got married and, um, um, you know, I, I got my first kid. So that was like within the two years plus few months of my career. So what happened was uh, my husband got an onset opportunity uh, in US and then he decided to travel and uh, he actually traveled. And then I was actually pregnant at that time. And then, you know, uh, I, I uh, started my maternity leave. My kid came and, uh, uh, you know, it, we started thinking like, you know, what my husband is in the US, my work is in Bangalore. I was in at my hometown with my parents when my kid was born. So we really didn't, you know, think that, you know, I have much option. So we thought, okay, let me extend my maternity leave, join my husband and see what, see what happens. And then, you know, either come back, join or, you know, all of that. Like I decided to travel uh, to my husband's place. And um, anyway, I had to take care of my kid. So, um, Okay, weeks passed, months passed. And then, you know, like, you know, I couldn't get my extension anymore. So I had to resign. Then we thought, okay, let's see when it happens. Anyway, my husband's reputation was getting extended one after the other. So it became like a long, long term too. So, um, and the kid is also growing, right? Like one year, he was like, I mean, like I was like totally into this motherhood, you know, he was totally dependent on me. So I had like, I didn't have much time to think about this career break. Then slowly he became like, you know, independent, like, you know, as any of your mothers knows that, you know, they will, you know, they will do their own things their own time. So I started getting my own time and then I realized, okay, uh, what? Well, what do I do, right? Like I have taken a break and, um, you know, um, similar to Facebook, what we had that time was all good. And I can see my friends chatting, you know, they are working and, you know, I felt like, okay, in all my life, I, I really wanted to do was to be a working person, working, um, working women and to be financially, you know, um, independent and all of that. And now I am not even thinking about going back to work. We never had that conversation with, I, I never had that conversation with my husband and I started feeling um, this emptiness. So I, I knew I had to go back. I had to go back to work, but I didn't know how because I was in US or my friends are either in, you know, like Bangalore or, you know, in somewhere in India, because that's my experience level by that time. So I was not ready, but I got, I, I started building up this frustration, like, you know, what, what, what's next? I mean, how would I get a job? Would I ever get a job? And I don't even know what to do because I had only two and a half years of experience and that too. So this would be like specific to the engineering um, uh, people, I mean, uh, who has engineering background, they will follow me here. I, my experience was split between multiple things in that two and a half years, like develop, development experience, manual testing, automation testing. So uh, you can say that, you know, I know something, but I'm not really, uh, you know, like, fully efficient or maybe you can say like an expert in anything. So that was more of my frustration because I wasn't confident about what I will be doing or I wasn't even confident that, you know, anyone should actually hire me at that point. So I knew, okay, this is not going well. And, uh, you know, the frustration started and, uh, but at least, you know, my husband was very supportive. So he was like, okay, in me actually, you know, big, you know, continuing the break or, you know, going back to work, he was there to fully support, but we didn't know exactly what to do. So the first step was actually to understand, you know, how can I work there? So 